there, but there's not a whole lot you can do. Gore in transition, blows by Turner off the glass, count the basket and on. Holy hay bells, what a spectacular move here from Gore. And he finished that one left-handed. That's the fourth foul, by the way, on Henning. We just spoke about foul trouble, and he's coming off the floor, says Coach Jordan Penn. Gore with an opportunity for the old-fashioned three-point play here at the 116 mark of the third quarter. It's up, soft touch off the front of the rim, back of the back of the rim, then off the glass and good. Ellington with the lead, 43-42. Folks, buckle up, grab your popcorn or your salted pretzel with cheese or your hot dog with relish, as JR has right here. It's going to be a dandy. Neither team backing down, back and forth. The Turner, short corner, far side into the lane, off the glass, soft touch, no good, battle for the board. It's going to come up with, I think it's East Carter, and great job down low by McCarty. Got his hands on it, two hands, kept it high and kissed it off the glass. Gore thought about the three, actually got his defender up. They're respecting his shot from that outside. Zone defense here from East Carter. Flying and floating, hanging, gliding as Gore in a soft touch, and it finds its way home. Back and forth we go, under 30 seconds here in this third quarter. Turner lost the basketball, but there's a foul first. That was for sure on the floor. No shot attempt there. Foul on number 12. And that's going to be his fourth. That's big because that's holding because he has been big for Ellington. Big time foul trouble for both teams right now. Turner, dribble drive off the glass. We've got a charge going the other way. Good job, young man. Who was that down there? That was number, I think it was 21. Yeah. If so, it's Hackworth. Good job by Hackworth. And all of a sudden, Ellington is now in the bonus from here on out. 16 fouls against these callers. Four against Ellington. Possession arrow in favor of the Whippets. Holden with the four fouls comes off. Coach does not want him to pick up that fifth foul here before the end of the third quarter. That's Coach Peterson. Good call right there. Hold for the last shot or the best shot here, JR? Uh, last shot. 18 seconds. We'll see if that's what they do. Boy, that defense is coming way out there. The back door, the back door uh, pass is going to be there if you need it. Mid-range jumper. It's good. Connor Miller. The junior comes in just a second ago. Three seconds, two seconds, one second. Preston doesn't see it. Oh, he gets it off. A little bit short. Folks, we played three quarters of basketball from here in Van Buren, Missouri. It is Ellington, 47. East Carter, 44. Eight minutes to decide this ball game. Yikes, what a game. This has been fun, JR. It has been. You know what I noticed that I think kind of favored Ellington that, that particular quarter is the pace kind of slowed down a little bit. Yeah. Not near as frantic as it was the first half. And uh, I think that type of play favors Ellington, you know, a little bit better, lets them stay a little bit fresher and things like that. So, uh, you know, if myself, if I was East Carter, I'd, I'd try to keep the pace picked up, you know, and keep them, keep them pressured. You want to push it and push it real good is what you're saying. Yep. Well, keep in mind there are a couple guys in foul trouble on both yep. sides that are key cogs. <clears throat> Number 50, Henning, who has owned the glass in the third quarter for East Carter. Number 50 in wide, he's got four fouls. Number 12 in orange, who has been their answer all night long, holding. Every time they've gotten down by three, by five, I think even by seven at one time, he has come up with a big answer, a big response. He's big. Will he start this fourth quarter or will he start on the bench? We shall see. He's going to start on the bench. You are right. He will start on the bench. But I would have to say with Coach Peterson, your season's on the line. That's your senior. I'd say at the first uh, sign of distress, he's probably coming in. Does, does Henning start the uh, fourth quarter on the bench? He and it looks not. like he is going to start on the bench, it looks like. Here we go. Eight minutes to decide this ball game. And has it been fun? My goodness. Down to Gore, kick out. Thought about the three, sides against it. That's Gore, he will shoot it. Tee it up from the corner. Ring it three times for Gore. Big shot, Gore puts him up by six. Two possession lead now for Ellington. Turner, into the front court. Dumps it off. McCarty, back to Marvin. Back door, good feed to Wilder off the glass. That's good basketball. That is just beautiful basketball. Coach Penn with the time. Go with the timeout. 
and he may put the old pin to the drawing board here. The marker, if you will. I'll tell you what, it's one of those games, JR, where you sure can't take your timeouts with you. The season's on the line, you might as well use them. Yeah, burn them while you got them. <laughs> that's that's the, old, the old smoke them if you got them, burn them while you got them. There we go. I'm going to give a shout-out to the cheerleaders here tonight for Ellington and for East Carter. Both of them have been loud. Both of them have been proud getting their fans into it. Decent little crown. I know you can't see our side of the bleachers, but they're a uh, decent little crown here for the late game, and neither team is the home team. So that's right. that's a big thing. It's only the opening round. This ain't like a semifinal or finals game. So pretty good crowd. Again, this is a very big gymnasium, and uh, a smaller gymnasium, this thing's probably full. I'm going to tell you, though, uh, when Thursday gets here, if you want to come and watch, you better come. Oh, man. Early. Dude, you ain't a kidding. Because <laughs> it's going to be full. Yeah. I don't care who's playing. It's it going to be full. Yeah, you, you're telling me that a team's got a chance to go to the, uh, I guess, the sectionals. Uh, I promise that's big, man. Oh, their season's over? Yeah, there's going to be a lot of people here. Girls and boys. Right. Girls and boys that night. So, But before we get there, we got to decide this one. And we got 720 to do that. Four-point game here. Again, Ellington is in the bonus. Lost the basketball, and speaking of, we've got a foul on the floor. This should result in a one-and-one. One. Who was that one on, though? Did you see, JR? Uh, I thought it was 24. McCarthy, so that's his second. So not uh, not too much of a worry as far as an individual goes, but team-wise, obviously, we are at number seven now for East Carter if you're a fan of the Redbirds. Just an update, Ellington at four. This is a one-and-one one here for Colby. Drains the first one. Looked awful smooth there. In fact, he was kind of almost fading away a little bit like he, did, he knew it was going in. He, he ain't going to rebound that thing. I, I got this. Second one's up. It is also good. 52-46, 7.15 to go. That possession arrow could, could play very big here late in the game. It is in favor of the Redbirds right now. Turner trying to jump stop. He's going to travel. Good defense by Ellington. Coach Penn says, don't look at me. <laughs> Did you see a little yeah. shrug? <laughs> yeah. No, he's like, I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I love watching coaches interact with their players. Sometimes they're so uh, calm and comforting and stuff, and sometimes they're just going to leave you out there to own it. <laughs> uh, obviously, Turner is such a darn good player, and he's been big for them tonight, obviously. Just didn't work out for him there. 6.52 to go. We've got a six-point game. I think this is Ellington's biggest lead, if I'm not mistaken. Dribble driving lane, trying to dish it off. Dangerous pass. There is Turner, speaking of. He needs an outlet, though, and he's got it in wild or up ahead. Across the goal here at the free throw line. Picks up his dribble. Out to Thompson, near side, Turner. They're letting him have that three-point shot if he wants it. Gets a screen from Marvin. Mid-range jumper, he'll take that instead. Soft touch, almost in, off. Battle for the boards. Thompson comes up, and it goes up, and that's a tough shot that goes in. How about Micah? A strong finish. Four-point game. You know East Carter won't go quietly tonight. I can promise you that. Coach Penn and company, they got a very good ball team here. and I, that, They will have a lot of fight in them here at the end. Battle for the ball. Though it's a dangerous play there. Turner one of the foul. Probably should have got it. Hackworth, maybe a little bit of a body hack there, but no call. Again, they're giving Turner that three-point shot. He takes the mid-range jumper instead. Here they go in transition. and Oh, that was a foul on Turner. I tell you what, that may be a smart foul because now you put him at the line for one-on-one one instead of a, a free layup. There was nobody that was going to stop them there. They had a big-time opportunity for a fast break. That is the third on Turner. I know it sounds strange to put the word smart and foul when someone's in the bonus together, but I really, I truly believe that they were going to score two there. Yeah. And they may still do it, but Michael Marnett on two shots instead of one easy layup. Here comes the shot. The toe well, the rim, no good. And there you go. There we go. We just talked about it. Turner with the rebound. He's going to take it himself across the front court into the lane. The step back. Fading jumper mid-range. Soft touch. How about that? That is silky smooth right there from number one in white. Full court pressure coming. And don't look now, folks. One possession game. 5.30 to go. Ellington, it looks like the last two possessions, is it me or have they kind of tried to slow it down a little bit? Yeah, well, like I said, they've you know they've tried to slow it down a little bit from the third quarter, I believe, which is what kind of helped them stay a little bit fresher. Good 
defense. I know it might be a foul, but, man, I tell you what, that was going to be a throw down, but Hackler somehow got back. Again, Mikey Martin at the charity stripe, and Turner may very well do that, but don't give him that free slam there or layup. That's heart, heart and hustle. And that was Ellington trying to save it off of East Carter on this other end that kind of went against him. Five fifteen on the game clock. Second one's off the hill of the rim. No good rebound by Holden. Up ahead. He's in a hurry. Lost the basketball for just a second. I tell you, Holden for three. He's knocked down on a shot. There's going to be three shots here for the senior. Holy hay bills. That's a big play right there. Who was on the foul? I think it was Wilder, was it? I believe it was. Yeah, Jake Wilder. If so, that's his third, I do believe. Yes, it's his third. The ninth team foul against East Carter. So the next time that East Carter fouls, Ellington's at the double bonus. However, this time it's the triple <laughs> bonus. Getting three shots here is the senior Holden. Remember, he's playing with four fouls. You know who we have not seen this fourth quarter? His Henning from East Carter. He has four fouls. The second one's good by Holden. Pushes the lead out to three with 5.06 to go in this fourth quarter. Very tense moments. It's crazy. There's five minutes left. That's a lot of basketball to play, but there's still very tense moments yeah. here. Rattles that one home, and we just talked about hitting, and guess who's at the scorer's table? Number 5 Owen White. Here comes Turner. Will he pull that three? Nope, he's going to get into mid-range. Jump stop. No good off the toe of the rim. Marvin with the offensive board going up strong. He scores. Count the basket and on. Yes, sir. You betcha. Marvin was starving for the ball, and he got it, and he finishes strong. And he'll have an opportunity for that old-fashioned three-point play as Henning comes in for Wilder. And I guess they're going to rebound with one player here. This is interesting. A lot of confidence here in Marvin, and rightfully so. Marvin, very good ball player, and then he shows you why. Marvin, also a senior. He does not want this to be his final game of his career. These seniors on both sides coming up big tonight. 4.48 to go. Holden stripped from behind. Goes right to Gore. Gore the floater. Mid-range. What a soft touch. He evaded Henning, which might have been a charge. Listen, Henning's taking two of those tonight. That's an excellent play there by Gore. Three-point lead now. Coach Penn calls out a play. 4.30 to go in this ball game. Down low to Marvin. They want him to go to work. Kick back out. Henning mid-range jumper. Free throw. Elbow extended. It's good. He buried it. Did Henning. I love the old man game, the mid-range jumpers. Oh, dangerous pass. Holden tried to save it. Oh, I hope he's okay. Boy, he hit the uh, bleachers down there pretty hard. He is, he is absolutely nursing that left knee, and we hope he's okay because he's a big part of this Ellington team. I don't know how many timeouts they've got, but if I was Ellington, they got a spare. I'd call one right now just to give him a second to take a break. Well, he, he, he is not. He uh, hit hard over there. Yeah, he is not fully healthy right now by any means. He's trying to tough it out. He's hobbling a little bit. It's that left knee of number 12. Turner, dribble drive, gets his own rebound, goes up strong, doesn't get the basket, but doesn't get the foul. If you're holding right now, you walk circles back here as much as you can. Don't let that thing get stiff. Walk. Fourth walk. foul on 21 as well. Okay, so that is going to be, I believe, Hackworth, if I'm not mistaken. It is Hackworth. Fourth foul on Tyler. Is he going to come off here to the floor? I think he's going to stay on. I think Coach Peterson says, no, we're going to stick with him. Guess what, Andy? Tie ball game. We're going to tie ball game. <laughs> At the four-minute mark, Turner with an opportunity to put East Carter up by one. No good. Rebounded by Ellington. That's Weaver. Weaver up ahead. Under four right now in this ball game. Ellington in the double bonus. And now all of a sudden East Carter is in the bonus. Possession arrow in favor of East Carter. Going up strong to Noah Bell. Holden gets the rebound. No good. Gore comes crashing in. And that's going to come out to East Carter in transition. Three on two. Poked away by Holden. Here comes the Whippets. Three on two. Back to Gore near side. He backs up. Spin cycle. Going up strong. No good. Battle for the board. It's going everywhere. It's coming back to Turner, who finally rebounds. And he bumps a guy out of the way there with his, uh, his, uh, his hips there, but no call. Turner in transition. Pull up. Jumper, and it's good. Big time play there by Preston Turner. Got the rebound, which was a battle, by the way. 
And then comes up the big, the big score. I'm telling you, Holden is hurt. Holden cannot uh, go full speed right now, number 12 in orange. And we talked about the possession arrow, folks. And that we knew in these close games, these battles, it's gonna they're going to have a jump ball eventually. And there it is. That's as good as a turnover if you're East Carter. 3-10 to go. A light switch has been flipped for East Carter in these last two possessions. Turner with the basketball. He wants him to spread it out here. Down low to Marvin. Marvin trying to dump it off to Henning. No good. Ball's on the floor. East Carter has it. Well, we have a jump ball. Can we see the – did he have a hand on it maybe from behind here? Probably should have been a foul on the – but either way. Now, the officials are talking here. Now, I like them to at least converge here. I think they're going to stick with the – Stick with jump ball, yeah. They're going to stick with the call. They're going to let them play physical. I think that's pretty obvious right now on both sides, so – Guys, buckle up. It should be a good one. We're going to have a physical ending to this ball game. A little wolf from behind. That's Wilder. He pokes it out. And at the 250 mark, it'll be Ellington basketball on their own baseline. And I believe that is McCarty checking in. Casey McCarty for East Carter. Coming out is Micah Thompson, who has played a very, very big game uh, today. Really has. Trying to get it in. Oh, between the legs of Gorman, no good. Oh, that was a silky smooth pass, but no finish. Marvin up ahead to McCarty, no good. Battle for the board. It's everywhere. There's bodies all over the floor. Marvin comes up with it, and there is going to be a double, foul. Double technical or oh. double foul. Well, if, if it's on Holden, he's it out of is. here. It is. That's one of them's on 12. Holden is done for the night. 20, 24 was his other one. On what? McCarty and Holden. And he's forgot the number. There he goes. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> and on a loose ball, even away from it, we've got a double foul that ends up putting the senior Holden out for the ball game. And, man, they desperately need him right now. He has been big for them. Now, after the, uh, the bump over there, he has not been playing quite himself with the injury. Holden's trying to stay on the court here. The coach is trying to figure out why he called yeah. a double foul, I think, is what's going on. And he gets so much time, obviously, to, to substitute somebody in, too. And that person that he's going to substitute in is number 10, Connor Miller, who actually came in earlier and hit a pretty big shot. Uh, maybe the tiniest kid on the court, but he's big at heart, obviously. They uh, had a play drew up there for Turner in the corner and decides not to shoot that. He had a kind of an open shot for a second. Dribble drive in the lane, goes up strong, and he's going to draw the foul. And Turner has decided that he's going to try to take over this basketball game for East Carter right now. 2.27 to go in this ball game. 59-57 is your score. First one from Turner is up, and it's good. That was on 21. That he fouled out as well. So now you've got Hackworth and Holden both fouled out as we have a timeout. And he comes off to a standing ovation from the Ellington fans, and rightfully so. Man, what a ball game. What a ball game. And we still have 227 to decide it, too. Ellington without a couple of very big players right now that have been big for them all night long. What do they do here to make up for that? And who do they sub in as well? East Carter has two timeouts left. i just seen the official tell. And Ellington, he didn't hold up any fingers, so I don't know how many he told them they had left. So, <laughs> so this could still be – we could still have 15 to 20 minutes of game action left, but – only two minutes and 27 left on the clock. And the substitution coming in is number 13, and we do not have 13 on the roster. Mystery Man. Another Mystery Man version 2.0. Yeah. 35 was the first one, wasn't yep. he? Now, the two names we have down here, but don't have numbers for are Hunter Brewer and Brock Morey. So, obviously, one's 35, one's 13. We just don't know which is which. So, we apologize uh, for that. But either way, Turner's got an opportunity to push this thing to two possessions here. 
It has been back and forth all night. Gets very quiet in the gymnasium. Here he goes. Sets, fires, aims. Does not sink it. Rebounded by Gore. Up ahead. Here we go. Across the timeline with 2.23. Lost the basketball, though. Here comes Wilder and company. And the young man just checks in and bless his heart. Of course, the ball finds him. That's usually how it goes. And yep. Nice backdoor fee. That's McCarty. Reverse layup from Turner. Beautiful basketball. And now it's a five-point game. Creeping up on that two-minute mark. Gore, jump stop, trying to take over this ball game. Kick out deep three. Stepped into it. No good. Turner rebound. Both teams in the double bonus. Possession arrow in favor of the Redbirds. 150 to go. You hate to see either team lose this ball game, but unfortunately someone does have to go home with a loss. Marvin, strong move. Count the basket and the one. Holy horseshoes. Watch this, folks. What a finish there by Marvin. It's got to be the headband. 13 at the line for the old-fashioned three-point opportunity here. And to push it to eight. And he does. It's big. Up ahead. Thought about the three. It was Connor. Decides against it. Dribble drive to Gore. Gore, kick out. Teeing up a three near side. No good. Rebound by McCarty. 1.30 to go. Does Ellington have enough left in the gas here? Oh, good defense. I think that's off on it. Let's get an instant replay here. I'm not so sure that Wilder didn't touch that after this. Watch this, folks. Well, maybe he did. No, I, don't, I don't think he did. No, from the replay he, Not there. from the replay. No, I don't think he did either. And we've got a foul that will send Turner to the free throw line for two. Coach Peterson's not happy with something. I don't think it's the call. I think you understand that's a foul. I think they wanted to foul somebody else, not Turner was the deal. Either way, it's going to be free throws here for Turner. First one off the hill of the rim, no good. You going to be okay there, Jeff? Yeah, I'll be okay. <laughs> 118 to go in this fourth quarter. Next one's up. It's pure, right down Main Street. 66, 57, 117 on the clock. Lost the basketball there, poked away by Turner. Showtime, clear the runway. Tomahawk two-hand slam. And that may be the final dagger there. Up ahead in a hurry, number 24 says not so fast, my friend. That's Kobe, the junior. Excellent job there. Turner in a hurry here. They do have the lead. Down low to Marvin going up no good. Getting the rebound is Ellington. Down by nine, the Whippets. For three, pulls it, it's good! Colby Hedrick, big time shot there. Six point game with 44.6 to go. Ellington is not going to quit. They're not ready to go home. They are not ready to start baseball season over there at Ellington, not just yet. Even though Coach Jay Kyle and company have a very good baseball club, they are not ready for that yet. Something I was mentioning earlier about uh, the, the depth of each team, you know. Sure. Now here Ellington's got two that's fouled out, and, you know, so they're – They're having to play two guys that don't even have uh, jersey numbers on the roster. <laughs> we, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, that's that's what I was kind of alluding to earlier in the ball game is with this fast pace and, you know, potential fouls and stuff could run into that issue for them, and that's what it has, but they're not they're not backing down. They're, they're still trying. Well, I'll tell you, since Holden came off the court, it was a one-point game when Holden came off the court. And it got up to, I think, what, 11, 11. maybe? 11. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, I mean, he was he's a difference maker on defense and offense. And all of a sudden now it's – now who do we go to? Obviously, Gore's been very big for them, but you almost it almost helps to have somebody else to kind of take a little bit of that tension off, and then you can use Gore as that kind of second or third option. Right. And now he's the number one option. Although Kobe – Hedrick looked awful good there on that shot. They inbound a turn with 43. Nobody back. He's going to go up, hanging, gliding, count the basket and one. Acrobatic move there from Turner. Strong frame, gliding through the air. Gore picks up the foul. He's wanting an explanation from the official. And with 40.2 on your game clock. Turner has an opportunity for the old-fashioned three-point play. And he buries it. 
71-62 is your score. Dangerous pass there. That's going to be a foul. The fans want the uh, continuation like the NBA style here. They're not going to get that. However, it will be two shots. No, here. since he fouled him about the three-point line. <laughs> I mean, he didn't shoot it to the block underneath the basket. Yeah, probably so. not going to get that, yeah. But I love the enthusiasm. I don't think they're going to give him continuation in NBA in that. Maybe not. Maybe not. I say maybe, maybe not because we've seen some. Just great. depends on who it is <laughs> doing the continuation. Yeah. Soft touch and somehow that finds home. I'd say he's got the old members card. It comes with the members bounce and members roll. And he knocked it down there, did Hedrick. He's trying to take over here for Ellington late. Next one's up. It's also good. He's got some big shots here. Turner trying to get open, and he does. Jumps out to the basketball, splits a double team. He's going to be fouled. 31.3 on the clock. Seven-point lead for East Carter. Again, both teams in the double bonus, so this will be two shots no matter what for each team going the rest of this 31.3. Possession arrow is in favor of the Redbirds of East Carter. See some of the fans starting to foul out now. Turner, first free throws up, it's good. So you got to give this kid credit. I mean, he has absolutely taken over about, I'd say, midway through the fourth quarter. He really flipped a switch. Second one's up. It's also good. 73-64, under 30 seconds to go now. Hedrick, jump stop in the lane. High arcing shot, no good. Battle for the boards. Comes a gore. Floater, high, no good. Turner with the rebound. Behind the back near side. He pumps the brakes here. And with 17 seconds left, will they foul? Oh, he lost the basketball. Pull up jumper. That's a three-point shot. No good. Hedrick with the rebound. Jump stop. He's pump faking. No good. Five seconds, and folks, that'll be it. Two seconds, one second. Congratulations to the East Carter Redbirds as they truly survive and advance into that semifinal round of this Class 2, District 2 Boys Basketball Tournament. Give Ellington credit. My goodness, give them some credit. Those boys battled and battled and battled. And maybe without a couple of key players going out late, there with foul trouble. Maybe that's a different finish. Maybe that's a different game. Who knows? But you can't play the what-ifs, obviously. East Carter got it done, and they deserve credit for that. 73-64, your final coach, Penn and Company, will move on to that semifinal game. All right, guys, let's set you up with what we've got here. Okay? So, come Monday, we'll be here again through Misha TV website, through Misha TV app. And what we'll be bringing you Monday is girls' basketball action. And in that girls' basketball action, our first game on the docket that night at 5.30 on Monday will be Ellington, the number one seed Ellington, Lady Whippets, and the East Carter, Lady Redbirds, the four seed. Now, right after that, you'll have the number two seed Alton versus number three, uh, three seed Van Buren. For those that did not watch that last game, you can go find it on the Red Line Media Launch YouTube channel. Holy smokes. That might have been one of the games of the year between those two teams, and they battled out for a shot at the championship. That's going to be big, man. That's going to be really, really, really big. Then, Tuesday night, we come back. We do it again, but it's the boys' side this time. And over there, it is also all chalk. It'll be number one seed, Alton, at 530, battling out with number four seed, Van Buren. And I promise you, Van Buren's crowd will be here. I can guarantee you that. Then the number two seed, Summersville, Wildcats, right after that. We'll be battling out the number three seed, East Carter. Don't know if those two teams have played this year, but I have a feeling that that will be a classic. Those Both those games for an opportunity to play for the championship round Thursday, and JR will be here for that, and it starts at 6 on Thursday. Again, Monday, two games, starting at 5.30. Tuesday, two games, starting at 5.30. Y'all tune in through Misha TV with us. We'd love to have you. For J.R. Roark, who has been awesome today, and more ways than I can even, even say. For Tim Earls, Old Man River, who's ran a camera all the way from Paragol to Arkansas, just helps with the camera. He didn't run it from Paragol. He ran it from here, here. but he comes. But he from ran Paragol. from Paragol to get here to run it. <laughs> and then also Caleb Napier, who also helped us out early on. For everybody here, Zachary Wetzel. For all of us at Redline Media Lines, we want to wish you guys a very good night. Safe travels, all the teams going back home. God bless you, and we look forward to seeing you.